probably heard or come across that, you know, they become so increasingly popular, but one of the limitations, big limitations on them is sort of the lack of feedback mechanisms in them. If you have individual with an incomplete injury, and as I mentioned before, more and more individuals are incomplete, so have some residual ability to move certain specific muscle areas of their, of their body that's been affected by their spinal cord injury. But wouldn't the ideal sort of equipment in terms of trying to not only facilitate their recovery but also help them to adapt to the limitations that they still have would be something that could sense the feedback, their ability to move one particular area of their body and not give as much help on that side, right? Well, giving more help to areas that are more impaired. Well, most of the devices that are out today or being being um, um, developed today don't have that uh, feedback mechanism, and so that's one of the limitations. That was one of the limitations of, you know, almost 15 years ago when the Locomat came came out, the uh, body weight support treadmill trainer was that. Uh, there was no feedback mechanism in that. An individual could just be totally passive in that device and let the machine do all the moving and walking for them. Um, we think where the benefits of sort of many of the technologies and equipment that are coming out today are being able to help facilitate uh, neural recovery. Um, and I think that's really what the, you know, the uh, excitement in the, certainly in the, in the, in the, in our, in rehabilitation today is, is that a lot of development and focus is on things to help enhance neurological recovery. Whether we're talking, hopefully, in, in not too long a time, stem cell treatments or uh, spinal cord implants or, I mean, it's, it's one, because we have a greater understanding of just why, if we talk specifically about spinal cord injury, why does the spinal cord not regenerate? Why do axons not grow. What is it that the body has wired into its system that prevents that from happening? Well, we think we have a better understanding about it now, and so a lot of the pharmacologic interventions and, and, and possibilities are aimed at trying to help the body to recover that. And then the equipment that, we're, that, are, that are being developed now can help with that neurological recovery.